Hey folks, today's video is on buyer closing costs. I'm Joe Rivas, your host. Now, people always ask, what are my closing costs when I'm buying a home? It's always gonna be between two and 5% of the sales price. For example, if you're buying a $400,000 home, that's between $8,000 and $20,000. Why there's a discrepancy? Well, here's the reason. Just remember that this is separate from your down payment. It's separate from the upfront costs, like paying for the appraisal and for the home inspection. It is strictly the closing cost, and we're going to focus on the closing cost on this video. The 2 to 5%, it goes to the lender, the title and escrow, and to the prepaids. Well, what's the lender cost? What's well, underwriting? It's processing, origination, and miscellaneous, and then discount points if you decide to do that. The um, escrow is title and escrow would be the escrow fee, the lender's um, title report, and then miscellaneous like the notary and things like that. Now. The prepaid, here's where I want to get to some um, nitty gritty stuff. The per diem cost. If you close on the 5th, the per diem interest is going to be 25 days of interest. For example, also if you close on the 20th, it will be only be 10 days of interest. Um, home insurance, you're going to pay for one year of home insurance and then an additional two to three months if you decide to impound. And then property taxes. Property taxes is where a lot of the money goes to. For example, if you're going to be closing in January, you're going to be you're going to have six months of uh, prepaid impounds. Whereas if you close in November, it's going to be nine months. Uh, down the line to February, one month, March, two months, things like that. It's a big difference because, in our example, for the four hundred thousand dollars sales price at one point two five percent, that's five thousand dollars or four seventeen a month. You know, for two months of prepaid, that's 834, all the way down to eight months for 3336. Like I said, this is where the majority of the uh, clothing costs will go to. So just remember that clothing costs, not only is it with the down payment and the upfront fees, but it's the day that you close in the month and also it's affected by the month that you close. Now all this information is available to you. Just email me or call me and I'll get this up. Uh, presentation out to you, but for now, I'm Joe, and that was Buyer Closing Costs. Thanks.